Hey everyone, this is going to be a really quick video where I'm going to talk about the most, one of the most useful and popular commands uh, there is. It's simply zip. You're going to need this all the time, uh, especially early in your career when you are compressing and archiving things or dealing with compressed and archived things, especially when you're still doing sort of desktop support and you have to deal with Windows or files going to Windows or coming from Windows. Zip, the zip format is going to be something you're going to be dealing with all the time. So I'm going to very simply just give you the command you need to learn. It's going to be what you need 90% of the time. As always, there's man zip, so if you need extra options, check there. But we don't care. I'm just going to give you the I'm going to give you the answer. We're going to skip all that all that reading in the man page because 99% of the time what you really want is a compressed archive many files being compressed and added to a single archive file which you can then upload as one single file or email or do whatever with and then unzip on the other side. This is very easy stuff so I'm not going to spend a lot of time on theory here. We are sitting in my home directory. We have a documents directory with um, a couple different files inside, um, you know, some PDFs, some documents, a uh, password file, a uh, very secret naughty sites file, etc. Um, oh, actually, <laughs> that bomb thing, nobody called the cops. It's, uh, I was uh, showing what a, what a tar bomb looks like when someone incorrectly or in very bad taste compresses uh, an entire directory without an enclosing directory so that when you unzip it it sort of explodes all over your computer and litters whatever directory you're in with a ton of files you don't want to do that um, more on that in the tar video so here's the deal we're going to be talking about zip in this tutorial but if if you're compressing things and archiving them for other unix and linux people you'll probably be using tar or bzip too I have separate videos for those where we're going to cover essentially the same thing. But we're talking right now about compression, the idea of taking a file, making it smaller by finding and uh, simplifying patterns, and of archiving, which is the idea, it's not the same as compression, it's taking many files or directories and creating one archive file so that it's easier to work with, um, especially with older protocols like FTP, SCP, etc. Often transferring a single file is much faster than transferring many different files and directories, even if those two things add up to the same amount of space, because there's like protocol overhead and other problems with, um, you know, the e for for each file. Okay, long intro, and here is the command. So we've got that documents thing. We want to zip it. So we say zip. That's the command. We have a target name, so we'll call it. Uh, zipped docs dot zip because we love to be redundant uh, and then we say the directory name and of course I always forget we want to go into this and recursively zip everything inside so that the R says go into that directory and add all of the files that it contains and all the subdirectories it contains into this zip archive that we're creating called zipped docs dot zip Shazam! And you can see it's verbose, the output is disgusting, it's everywhere. You could redirect it if you know how to do that. And now you can see we've got a zipped docs.zip directory. Now it's probably not too much smaller than, I, I doubt we got much compression here. Let's see, let's, what's the file size of documents? We have 2.4 megs in the archive and 2.5 in the, the uncompressed directory. So we haven't really saved much space, but whatever. Um, definitely as soon as you get to like a ton of files, uh, especially file formats that, that lend themselves to compression, um, you're going to be saving a whole lot of room. Okay, that said, let's move this zipped docs to our handy decompression chamber and then enter that directory. And you can see we've got the zipped directory here, and now we'll see how to unzip it. So we just say unzip. That is the, the inverse command of what we just did. Zip to docs.zip. And you can see we now have the same documents directory here that we had before. So that's zipping and unzipping. Again, 
this is the zipping command and this is the unzipping command this pretty much will take care of you um, yeah this is really all you need to know for zip there's some more interesting tools um, that maybe get you better compression um, obviously at the expense of using more CPU or they're much more widespread in Linux and Unix and that would be tar and bzip2 more on those in another video I hope you enjoyed uh, this should get you rolling with zip files on Linux enjoy